works? Let me, let me show you a picture. Let's think about a really simple world. Let's think about a really simple world where only one price was changing. Let's assume that we, that we lived in a world in which all the prices in the, in the economy were constant except for one. There was only one price that was changing over time. All right, so think about what we'd be doing with these kind of indices. So let's assume income was also constant, just to make my life easy. So we could think about there being some demand curve, a demand curve D. And you might say, well, here's my world. I got this good. It was really expensive back here. This is P1950. Price was really high. And because the price was really high, we didn't buy much of it. X1950. OK. And we get to, we get to 19X2015, P2015. So what would our price indices that we looked at originally do? These sort of naive price indices like this one or this one. How would they look if I use them in this picture? How would we measure the change in the cost of living under those two views of the world? What corresponds, for example, to the 1950 index? Well, what we're doing is we're asking how much cheaper was the 1950 bundle in 2015? So the reduction in the cost of living that we're saying would be measured by that rectangle here, right? That would be the reduction in the cost of living. We'd say the same bundle I was buying in 1950 would cost this much less, right? You would say, well, how much did I buy? How much did the price go down? That would be my approximation to the change in cost. I'm buying 10 units. Price went from $10 to $1. I saved 90 bucks. I saved $9 a unit on 10 units, OK? Now, when the price went down to a dollar, maybe instead of 10 units, I bought 100 units, OK? Now, what would the other price index say? Well, it says I'm buying 100 units. Price goes from 10 to 1. How much did I save? Well, I, spend, I saved $9 a unit on 100 units. It would say $900 would be the reduction in cost, which would correspond to this really big box, right? That is, it would measure the price index change by this entire area. And you can see, well, what's the right measure? Anybody know what the right measure? Right in quotes? Well, what is, what is the right measure? Well, how much does the change, how much does cost change? 